Welcome back to John's Films. Many of you wondered where I got the idea to recreate studio features in the free version of Resolve. Well, I was over here at the CB Super Tutorials and Stuff YouTube channel. And uh, CB Super, you'll notice, he started to grab up a pretty good ramp here. And it's because he has a ton of really helpful, short, and informative fusion tutorials. So if that's something you're looking for, jump over here. Because I started to see like, wow, you can do a whole lot in there that I hadn't considered before. I wonder if I could recreate some of these studio features. And sure enough, today's feature is the optical flow that we use to slow down and get smooth footage out of Resolve. The clip we're going to use is yet again drone footage out of Ohio because I love it so much. Here's what it looks like in the free version when you slow it down to half speed. Notice the jitters. Here's what it looks like in Studio. Really smooth. Here's what it looks like if you replicate Studio in the free version. Wow. Fantastic. No doubt some of you are going to want a better look at that. So let's zoom in here. You can see the three of them compared to each other with the jitters on the left and the two optical flow options on the right. Notice the smoothness. In the Studio Edition, typically we would right click on the clip we'd like to change. We'd change the clip speed say 50%, and we would check that our retime and scaling was set for optical flow and speed warp. This would enable a very smooth playback, leveraging the neural engine in Resolve. However, if we were in the free version, we wouldn't have that luxury. So let's see what we would do. So I will reset that clip back to 100%, because we're going to have to deal with this somewhere else. Copy and paste. And now I'm going to take this clip into Fusion right off the bat. Inside Fusion, I'm now going to create an optical flow. What this node does is establish the vectors that need to be in the background for time mapping. Then we're going to uh, shift space again and choose a time speed node. This time speed node fee fed by the optical flow node is what's going to slow down the footage for us. Here, I'm going to take my speed and run it at 0 0.5, 50%. I'll choose flow as the interpolation mode, which is the same as the speed warp that you see before. And now you'll notice the exact same level of GPU utilization. Or if you're in the free version, you'll see CPU utilization that you get over when you run optical flow with the speed warp. And when it's done, you get a very clear and clean playback, much like you get in your studio version. Here is the final result for the second in this series. We'll have more of them coming, so be sure to like and subscribe as I enjoy making them, and I hope you enjoy seeing them. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.